Good morning. Welcome to day 17. If you've stuck with me through all 17 days, go, 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 you. Okay. Don't know what that was. Let's interlace our fingers behind our back. You could either be sitting on your heels or on your bottom into Tadasana. And what we're going to do with those fingers interlace behind you, like so, is allow your left ear to fall toward your left shoulder. Feeling this nice opening on the right side of the neck, keeping the spine elongated. And then you're gonna let your chin roll forward and the ear falls toward that right shoulder for a nice stretch on the left side of the neck. Maybe you can even begin to move with your breath. Inhaling into the stretch, exhaling, rolling. And when you're ready, come to neutral. And then we're going to set that left hand on the left side of our body. Inhale, stretching that right arm up and over. Looking up toward the sky. And then roll that right hand forward in front of you, placing on the right side, left hand stretches up overhead. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Oh, she got herself stuck in the door again. Continue with this movement. Awesome, so come to neutral. You're gonna inhale, arms up overhead. Oh, I totally forgot. If you are still sitting cross-legged, that's totally fine. If you want to enjoy this nice child's pose with us, come onto your heels, or you can just do this sitting how you are. Inhale and exhale, fall forward. Releasing everything to the mat. And from here, stretch those arms back behind you. With an inhale, notice any tension you may be holding. Exhale, allow it to let go. We're gonna bring our hands forward and then bring our knees toward the outside of the mat. Big toes are touching. Push back again to wide legged child's pose. Arms outstretched in front of you. You can even use these fingers. To help lengthen that spine. Um, here, walk your hands over to the left side for a nice side stretch on the right side. Mm -hmm. 
And then walk your hands over to the right side. <sighs> Come back to center. Inhale, bringing our body up to a tabletop position. Excellent. And then from here, you are going to walk your hands forward. And if it comes to you, maybe you can lay your chest on the earth, your chin on the earth, and do a nice puppy pose. If you went into a puppy pose, comment out. And let's do our lovely cat cow. Arch the back chin to chest, tail bone rounds. Inhale to cow, dropping the belly, smiling up, tail bone up. Exhale, arch the spine. Inhale, cow. All right, you know how to do this. Let's do the next few with your very own breath. Rushing it, but rather inviting it to move much slower. We can trust with the other inhale. It's going to be there. Maybe this time when you go into your and then meet me at neutral spine and we are going to work on waking up our core just a little bit so Stretch that right foot behind you, back and behind you, and then the right arm, I say right leg, left leg, back and behind you, right arm up and in front of you, looking forward. Inhale deeply, and then on the exhale, bring the elbow and the knee to touch. Inhale, straighten out those limbs. Exhale, bring them in to kiss. And do as many as you want. You as you want, you can always go back to child's pose. But when you're ready, bring your hand and your knee to the mat. Straighten out that right foot back and behind you. Left arm out and in front. Inhale deeply and then exhale around the spine. Bring the elbow and the knee to kiss. Feeling your core strength here. Regain your balance. Tap into your inner fire. And 
when you're ready, exhale. Bring your hands and your knees back to the mat. Tuck those toes under. Push into all parts of your hands evenly. Straighten those knees to a beautiful downward facing dog. Feel free to walk your dog out here. You can, of course, shift forward into a plank to make sure you are in the right position. We look good. Pushing into those hands. Pushing into those toes, pulling the heart through the arms. Feel bone up. Inhale that right leg up toward the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, look over the left shoulder. See if you can say good morning to your toes. And if you feel so cold, you can flip your dog by allowing that little right foot to come to the earth. And come back up. Exhale that right knee right behind your right wrist. Your right ankle should be by your left wrist, but it can be closer to your body if that is more comfortable. Untuck those back toes. Inhale, straighten the spine, open the heart, pulling forward. And with your exhale, allow yourself to surrender into the stretch. Maybe you can come onto your elbows. Take it nice and easy. If you can go deeper, you can create a little pillow with your hands. So it's resting your cheek on your hand. Whatever feels good right now. I'm gonna create a pillow, but then rest my forehead down so I can do a little third eye massage too. And of course, you do what you want to do in this stretch. But I do. Just tell myself I'm safe and see what muscles I may be holding tension, what muscles I may be contracting without even knowing I am. And even if it's only for a second, allowing my body to release it just to see how. You can always tighten it back up again. I'm sure you're going to enjoy that stretch. We're going to stay here a little bit longer today. If you would like to go back into a child's pose, please do. If you want to kind of move around a little bit, bringing that left leg back more, go for it. Find your space. Inhale, find the tension. Exhale, let it go. Pigeon pose is one that I could literally live in. 
I do believe most people hold tension in their hips. And this is just such a nice passive pose to really get deep into those muscles. to pause the video stay here as long as you'd like I could literally stay here for I don't even know how long and you don't stay there longer if you want but if you want to do a mermaid with us let's move a little bit so using your hands bring your top of your body up and what we're going to do oh my goodness this just feels so good straight in or point those left toes to the ceiling and back down just kind of bending the knee a little bit and then once it's up <clears throat> inhale the left arm up and back perhaps it can say hello to your foot hello foot perhaps it can tuck into your elbow Bring that right arm up and back. So reach the fingers. Mermaid, stay there as long as you want. Have fun with it. Let's do the other side now. So tuck those toes under. Place those hands into the earth. Pushing that right leg back to meet the left in a downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale deeply and then on the exhale roll forward into a plank position. Lower your knees, chest, chin, or if you feel so cold, go through a chaturanga. So you're going to be bending your elbows in toward your body, lowering, pushing through to an upward facing dog. And then downward facing dog. <sighs> Walk, step or jump to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Straighten that spine. Exhale, release forward. Inhale, slowly come to standing. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands together, hands in front of heart center. And then open up your palms. Oh, your hands to drop. Feel all four corners of your feet grounded into the earth. I want you to feel the inner parts by your big toe stretching out to the outer parts of your heels, stretching to the inner part of the heels, and stretching out to the outer parts of the pinky toes. stability, feel a slight bend in your knees, really embody the energy of being a mountain. And let's work on doing the other side. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, feel as though your arms are being pulled forward as you go down. Inhale, halfway lift, straight in the spine. Exhale, fold forward, planting those hands, stepping back into a downward facing dog. 
inhale that left leg up toward the sky see if you can open up the hips bending the knee look over your right shoulder same thing on into your toes and if you flipped your dog on the other side go ahead on this side to a left thing Come back in, bringing that left knee up, right behind your left wrist, and the right ankle can be behind your right wrist or more in toward your center. Scooch that right leg back just a little bit, inhaling, straightening. I just let you in. Exhale, fall forward. Same thing. Take your time in this pose. Move around a little bit. See what feels best. And again, even just for a millisecond, see if you can release just a Kind of rolling my hips back and forth just to kind of see how it manipulates the stretch. Sometimes I can find a spot that I'm like, oh yeah. I think sighing is a really helpful way of releasing tension.